New at 5, a local sheriff's department is noticing a pattern among the people reporting unemployment fraud. And TSV 11's Mercedes McKay explains. Right now, we've been getting numerous calls about people that have filed for unemployment in other people's names. Nine calls to be exact in the past two weeks. Five of those nine just in the past two days to the Perry County Sheriff's Office. What is concerning to me is that some people that I have interviewed and talked to have said that they've actually received papers and have thrown them away. Perry County Chief Deputy Bill Finley says there has been a trend on who has been in the line of fire throughout his county. What we are finding is it appears to be a retirement fund that may have been hacked a year or two ago. We're seeing several teachers and state employees have been the targets of this. According to the Arkansas Division of Workforce Services, about 20,000 unemployment claims have been flagged for review over the last few weeks. One of those 20,000, Bobby Bennett Schulte. I don't know how someone got my information. I didn't know how to feel. Nothing like this has ever happened to me before. Schulte received this letter in the mail on June 26 from ADWS, stating they received a claim in her name. I'm trying to rationalize what this document is because I know for certain I didn't file an unemployment claim. I've never filed them. The following Monday, an email was sent to the business her and her husband own about that claim she never filed. Since then, more of those same emails have come in their inbox about their employees. We believe that we have 20 additional that are fraudulent. After calling the fraud department three different times, reaching out to her representative, and trying to get in touch with every director at the Workforce Center, she finally got through because of a contact she knew after days of frustration and anxiety. But she knows not everyone is that lucky. I'm concerned there's not enough attention being paid. There's not enough education. People aren't aware that this is occurring to the degree occurring. In Little Rock, Mercedes McKay, THV 11 News. In a statement, ADWS said this is an ongoing concern and top priority. Immediately report any suspicious activity to their office and your local police department.